Hello everyone. This is Stephen Kelly from the Century College Center for Educational Technology. In this third of four videos demonstrating how to set up a gradebook in D2L, we will be learning to create categories and grade items using the Manage Grades option. If you have not yet viewed video one on the Setup Wizard or video two on grade settings, then you may want to consider viewing those videos prior to continuing. Let's get started. Here we are in D2L on the Grades page. To access the Grades page, you click on the Grades option in the top navigation bar. On the left-hand sides of the page in the Grades area box, we have the Manage Grades option. I will click on Manage Grades. On the following page, we have five options at the top, Grades List, New Item, New Category, Reorder, and Delete. Today we will work with New Category and New Item, beginning with New Category. Categories contain multiple and similar grade items. Here we have various value options available to us for making our new category. Some of these options are pretty straightforward, and others not so much. If at any time an option confuses you, remember to click on the small question mark alongside it for an explanation. Let's work from the top down, beginning with the category name. I will enter Duck Calling Quizzes. And for the short name, I'll simply put Quizzes. For each category we create, we have the option to add a description. If you do add a description, you may check Allow Users to View Description, which will allow your students to see the description. Under the grading area, we have three checkbox options, Can Exceed, Exclude from Final Grade Calculation, and Distribution. Select the Can Exceed option if you want a user's grade for the category to be able to exceed the maximum value for the category. Select the Exclude from Final Grade Calculation option if you want the grade category to be excluded from the final grade calculation. And select the Distribution option if you want all items in the category to be worth the same amount. I'm going to check Distribution. For points per item, I will choose to have it be 10, saying that each grade item in the category will be worth 10 points. Beneath that, I have the option to have D2L exclude either the highest graded item or the lowest graded item from the category. I'll keep those both at zero. And under Display Options, I have Display Class Average to Users and Display Grade Distribution to Users. I'll keep both of those checked so that the students see both. Then I will click on Save. Then, returning to Manage Grades, you'll see that our Duck Calling Quizzes category has been created on the grades list. Now let's go to New Item. Under Choose a Grade Item Type, I have six options. Numeric, Select Box, Pass Fail, Formula, Calculated, and Text. I will choose Numeric, a basic point system. Notice that the new item page looks very much like the new category page. Let's work from the top down again. For our new item name, I will call this Quiz 1. For the short name, I will likewise call it Quiz 1 because it's already short. For category, in the drop down menu, I will choose our Duck Calling Quizzes. And then in the grading section, for max points, I will choose 10, saying Quiz 1 is worth 10 points. Then we have three check boxes. Select the Can Exceed option if you want to allow users' grades to exceed the maximum value specified for the item. Select the Bonus option if you want the item to be added separately and on top of the calculated grade. And select the Exclude from Final Grade Calculation option if you want the grade item to be excluded from the final grade calculation. I won't check any of those. And I'll keep the grade scheme as default on percentage because percentages are easy to understand. If you have created your own rubric for your grade items, you may add it with the Add Rubric button. Under Display Options, I will choose Display Class Average to Users and Display Grade Distribution to Users, just like on our new category. Then I will click Save. And returning to the Manage Grades area here, you'll notice that we have the Duck Calling Quizzes category with our Quiz 1 beneath it. This is how you create categories and grade items using the Manage Grades option.